new video hey guys time. greg and jess with drifter journey uh, we get a lot of requests to film how our bed lift works in our current van and we are actually starting step one of that process in the new van so we're going to show you how the infrastructure gets put in today we are utilizing some steel u-channel uh, slotted struts here we can show you that up close in the van and we're going to actually put it into the van with some rib nuts and we've never used rib nuts before so this will be a good test so once we have that basic frame in place then it'll probably be a couple more days before we get uh, more of the bed in so we'll just continue to film those steps as they happen so this is a rib nut this is a rib nut tool we're going with 5 16 inch you thread this guy onto it Put a hole in the wall so we have a test spot here we just drilled it out to the right size we got a safety collar on to make sure that we don't punch through out through the outside of the van and then you put this guy in the hole and we pick this spot completely out of the way it's just going to get covered up so this one won't get used put it in with the arms open tighten this up Give it a squeeze, tighten it up again. I don't know if I'm doing it right. So that feels pretty tight. Back it all the way out. Hopefully, it's jammed in the wall. And that's in there. So in theory, that's now in the wall. We're gonna put a bolt, which is the equivalent of what this is, into it. And then, it's not coming out. <laughs> so we're gonna do our channel up on this rail we're going to put five of these in to support the bed frame there five on the other side and then we're going to have two channels coming down uh, to the floor support a little extra weight those are going with one at the top one at the bottom and then we got some 80 20 aluminum that's going to go between this channel and then up into this spot on the wall and that's where our bed lift goes on. So, stay tuned. We're going to go through this. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow. I think that's subscribe. And comment. If you have any questions or think there's something funky we're doing, this is a good learning experience for everybody. Uh, we're basically mimicking what our current van is. And I think we might be bumping it up a little beefier on this. I don't know. I feel good about it, though. So I was worried about losing bolts in the wall, but the rib nuts will make sure that that doesn't happen. That's it. Rib nut tool is pretty easy to use. Okay, guys, so we got a bed update for you. We've officially gotten the passenger side rails in. So you can see our horizontal rail is mounted here to this beam in the ProMaster, and then we have our vertical rails in mounted to that horizontal beam as well as down at the base by the wheel well. So essentially, what we're doing here is creating the infrastructure for our bed lift. And what happens is you buy this U-channel, uh, it's pretty cheap, I think it's $20 for a 10 foot section. Uh, you cut it down, we have a 55 inch section along the, the top and then these are 29 and a half and that one's a little bit different, it's kind of a custom one. And use uh, the rib nut tool, we showed you how to use that. Put your bolts in, we used 5 16 inch hardware with some washers. And then the cool thing about this U-channel is that you can buy this hardware here 
that slides up and down and that is ultimately going to be what our uh, linear actuators bolt into so you got to make sure to put this in the channel before you bolt it down because uh, both of our ends are blocked we wouldn't have been able to put it in from the bottom or in from the top because these are flush with other things so that's just a critical piece uh, now that that's in there it is adjustable and once we figure out where our linear actuators are going to mount uh, we can move those to the right height so that's basically how we did it um, you have to drill out holes for the rivnuts and kind of customize that piece since the holes that are in the ProMaster aren't the exact right size for the rivnut tool but uh, yeah pretty exciting to see it in and functional so uh, we're gonna do the driver's side now and Greg's having a little midday M&M snack there's a spacer down there on this one too yeah good point so as far as the hardware that we used uh, we can link some of this stuff below but down at the bottom there is this like quarter inch steel spacer because this piece of the metal is actually a little bit further back than up top so in order to have a straight and vertical rail we put this spacer in down here so yeah figuring it out as we go swinging it we use grade 8 bolts too because they seem to be the strongest yeah whether it's overkill or not i don't know grade 8 with loctite do our best to make it as strong as possible mm -hmm. Well, so far in this project, uh, a lot of rib nuts, which are cool. Mm -hmm. A little hair painting. I did paint my hair. Uh, with some primer. Mm -hmm. And so this should be the support of most of the bed frame. And we did some testing. <laughs> can you get up too? I don't know if I can. It'd be probably harder for you because it'd be more of a reach. But it holds my weight. It holds both our weight. You can't touch the wall I'm at all. I'm not. I'm not touching the wall at all. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, a couple tips. I would say definitely drill pilot holes. Yeah. And you want to get a drill holes. bit stopper. Get a drill bit stopper. If you don't have one of these, there you can buy an adjustable one. Um, but they're critical that you don't punch through the outer wall of your van when you're drilling holes into the inner wall of your van. Uh, the RZX rib nut tool. Pretty cheap. I think we paid 55 bucks for the tool and a whole it's like uh, 300, 320 of these guys. Yeah. Uh, so that came in handy. We're gonna use some of the smaller ones for our furring strips on the ceiling. Uh, it's, it was a really cool tool. So we'll link this one down below. Yeah. And yeah. we'll just keep moving forward with this project. Yeah. Okay, next step in the bed frame is to get a piece of 80-20 aluminum to go from here to here. So 29 inches, we're going to cut that down. We're going to do a rib nut here. We're going to use one of these guys in the super strut here and we'll need four of these total and that's going to be where the 8020 is and there's an adapter on that that slides from that we'll have the lift going into that and that's going to what's going to be what lifts that and makes it slide and hopefully the whole bed moves together Wash and paint dry again. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna update you guys on the 8020 rail. So we cut four pieces that are the exact same length that are gonna go um, from up here down to the steel channel that we put in. And we drilled our hole in the van here and we're gonna put a rib down in there. So before that happens, we're, we painted it with Rust-Oleum. So we literally are watching paint dry right now. Once we get that rib nut in, we can mount that rail and that'll give us something for the bed to slide up and down on. 
good stuff. Good morning. We are back to talk about our bed lift. We are going to go over how the lift works before we get it completely done because once it's done it's really hard to show because you guys have seen it in our old van and we haven't made a video because it's a pain in the butt to show you how to do it so I will talk about it and demonstrate it and then that's that but the base of the bed system is Unistrut I believe is what it's called so you can get it at Home Depot it's just metal uh, steel channel. We got that uh, rib nutted into the wall and then there's a support piece coming down goes into the wall in two spots there. The next step was 8020 aluminum. Uh, this stuff is great. It's not cheap. I don't know where we got it. She can tell you. Granger. Granger. We got it at Granger. Um, with what do you call these? It's a linear bearing. Linear bearing. 60 bucks a piece, by the way, for these stupid little things. Uh, but yeah, so, same thing, rib nuts into the strut down here. So that's holding the weight on the bottom. Rib nutted into the wall up top. Next is linear actuators. There's a whole range of these. They can go on Amazon from like 15 bucks up to, we saw like $500 a piece for some super high-end stuff. Um, we went middle of the line, I think they were 35, 40 bucks a piece on Amazon. Uh, they're pretty cheap though. Uh, I think they'll last. We got similar ones in our current van. They've been in there for over two years. They've held up. So we thought we'll go with the cheaper ones. If they break, we'll replace them. Uh, we did get them. They come with like some super thin wiring pain in the butt to work with but they are 200 900 newtons which is 200 pound lift each which should be more than enough to lift a bed frame uh, which is also going to be made out of 8020 aluminum the next thing we needed they come with these little brackets they come with these little brackets they did not come with this L bracket so these still look sloppy we're not done with them yet but basically we bought some steel L channel, drilled some holes where it'll line up over on this guy. And then we welded the cheap bracket. So we ground them down and welded them. Uh, the paint on it was nasty and it stunk, but welded them onto there. This will go, you like the birds? <laughs> Sorry, there's like a circus going on outside. So this will go in here, it'll be pinned, and then as it lifts, this will go up and down, obviously. We bought 12 inch lifts this time because we don't need it to go nine feet like our current one does. And then the bed frame 8020 will mount directly to the top of this. So, with all that said, we gotta talk about wiring because that's the hardest part of this, I think, maybe. Uh, so for the wiring, you need two-way rocker switches and once you have those you're going to need to wire the front as a set and the rear as a set so you're gonna have power going to the switch and from the switch then you go to the motor but in that motor line you need to splice into it run a wire across over to this one so they are on the same circuit same with the rear so what we did before we put all the walls up we spliced the wires we got alligator clips we tested it all made sure it worked then we put it in the walls came back connected it all up today and kept our fingers crossed that it worked and so when you flip the front switch up you've got lift on both of these guys And then the same on the rear. Uh, they aren't all the same speed because I think uh, the cheap price might have something to do with that. So check them. We checked them individually against each other. Had races before they were in. 
Uh, we found the front two for us were the faster ones. The rear two were the slower ones. So we put the slow ones together and the fast ones together. Then we have one that's like super speedy. It's this one over here. Uh, but over the 12 inch run, it'll beat the other one by about an inch. So the thing we've learned with our current one, same type of thing happens. If you go up two inches, down two inches, up three, down three, back and forth the whole bunch. At some point the bed starts to get a little wonky. So you just reset to zero. So that's why we did the 12 inch in this one. We can drop it all the way back down to zero and start from scratch and it should be fine. Uh, so we will swing you over to the other van real fast so you can see what it is like in the end. And just so you know, it's messy in here because we're living in this one and building the new one. But same thing in here, two rocker switches. These ones don't stay in the lock position, so you have to hold them the whole time, which I actually kind of like. Might have to get used to the new ones. Uh, but yeah, so bed lift. Whoa. There we go. Up oh, and turn on the garage lights. Tell me when I'm close to the bike so that you want to make sure you don't hit your stuff. That's that bed lift make sure you like subscribe comment let us know if you have any questions hope you like that because um, that's about as good as you're getting for seeing how the bed lifts obviously in each vehicle it's going to be a little bit different um, we've got a pro master we have a pro master again so it's pretty repeatable but depending on how big your bed is it's probably going to matter where your 80 20 goes so on and so forth so this ought to get you close go from there we didn't have any past skills. This one was built for us. We kind of used it as a template, obviously. Uh, seems like it works. So, Day, thank you. You made a great bed lift for us that we were able to repeat. And we're going to wrap that one up. Thanks for watching.